Alrighty, so on our web browser, let's go ahead and visit mavenrepository.com. Because what we want to do is actually do a search for that Atlassian mail and get the actual Maven coordinates for it. So in the search box up top, I'll type in Atlassian dash mail. And then I'll go ahead and start the search. It'll bring back some search results. Uh, this first item, that one looks really good. That's the one that we want. com.atlassian.mail. So I'll go ahead and click the option here for Atlassian mail. Okay, great. So it's going to pull up the screen a bit. Let me scroll down here for a second, get some more information about it. So it'll show us all the different versions. Uh, in this example here, one thing I want to point out is that they'll tell you where the repository is located. So they, they're saying that this project is located in the Atlassian repository. So let's go ahead and choose version 4.04 .04, as far as the actual version we want to use here. And then we'll kind of scroll down a bit because we want to use these little Maven coordinates here. Uh, but, but again, just one little reminder here is that they'll tell you where this item is located. So they're going to say that it's in the Atlassian repository. So the key thing is that it's not in the Maven central repository. It's in a different repo. So we'll kind of hold on to that for right now. But I'll go down here and I'll just grab these, uh, these Maven coordinates here and I'll just do a little copy uh, using my keyboard shortcuts here. And then now that I have the Maven uh, coordinates here, I'll go ahead and swing back over to Eclipse and I'll actually paste that into my Maven palm file for my project. So I'll just move down into my project here, uh, right there in my dependency section. And actually, before I paste it, I'll go ahead and write a little quick comment to myself about uh, what I'm adding here. I should have did this at the beginning, but anyway, it's all good, right? So this is support for the Atlassian uh, mail uh, component. And then I'll just go ahead and do a paste. All right, so there we go. And then I'll just kind of... They're already... Just format that a bit and, and just kind of tab it over. All right, cool. Because again, I'm really anal. I like for everything to look pretty. And then I'll go ahead and save the file. But now one thing that I notice here is that it says, hmm, missing artifact. Com.alacian.mail. Oh, so basically this is Maven saying, hey, I can't find that item. Hmm. All right. Well, uh, we could try and do a Maven update project. So let's go down here and go to Maven and say update project and then we just choose the options here hit OK and now let's kind of take a look oh, same problem <laughs> nothing's resolved um, and this is all planned right because we know what the problem is right the problem is that we need to tell Maven about this new repository or this additional repository and so I need to kind of move down here into my actual uh, palm file and add a new entry here right below dependencies. And I need to add something for repositories. So I'm just giving myself some white space here just to kind of have some room to work with. So we'll enter the information just like we saw in the slides, right? So we'll have repositories and then I'll give a repository entry. I'm just kind of scrolling around a bit so you can see everything on the screen. We'll actually enter the information for the ID. So we'll just call it Atlassian. Uh, we'll actually give it a name. I'll just call it the Atlassian repo. And these, this, these items could be anything really. Uh, but the only thing that's a hard requirement or something that's, that you need to get correct is the actual URL. So you have to provide the actual URL for the Atlassian repo. But the question you may have, first let me just kind of type this real quick. I'll just put a little empty placeholder here because the question is like, well, what is the URL for the Alacian repo? Like, how do I find it? Well, we can kind of swing back over to the browser, right? Because the uh, mavenrepository.com, that search told us where the repository is located, right? So I kind of pointed this out a couple of times in the, uh, the previous or earlier in the video. So I'll just go ahead and copy this repository URL just using my little keyboard shortcuts here. 
and that's the repository URL that I can put into my Maven palm file. So do a copy here and then just uh, paste it here. And then expand my window. All right, so we can see it all in one. So there it is. So that's the URL. So Maven will also search this repository to try and resolve any dependencies here for this given project. Okay, so that's good. So we save that. Uh, let's kind of scroll back up to the top and see if we still have that error message. So that was on line 24. Oh, oh yeah, it's resolved. So it's gone. So Maven's able to figure it out. So it knows about how to access that remote repository and how to pull those files down. Cool. I'm loving this. This is getting really cool. So let's verify this, right? So let's go into our file system and let's go look at our Maven repository. So here I am right now. And let's see, that is in the group ID of com.alacian.mail. So in this com folder, there should be a subfolder called Atlassian. Yes. And there should be another subfolder called, called mail. Yes. And there it is, Atlassian Mail 404. Yeah, baby, I'm loving it. So <laughs> this is great. This is kind of working out as desired. So we're able to pull down those additional projects or pull down this project from that additional repository that we configured right here in our Maven Palm file. So the important thing here was lines 45 uh, through 53. Uh, basically, we're just referencing another repository, an additional repository for Maven to search. All right, so this is some really good stuff. So I showed you here how we can add an additional repository. So we can find projects that are not in the Maven central repo, but they're in separate repos. And we configure that in this palm.xml file. So I'm excited. I hope you are. I'm having a good time here doing all this backstage touring of these Maven repos. So I'd say good job. And I'll see ya in the next video.